Hey guys, it's May May and welcome to December Scripture Stamp of the Month Club. This is it, y'all. This is 2023's last club set. I'm so shocked. We This year literally has been a blur, faster than I could ever imagine. Now I'm going to tell you something. This stamp set comes with a challenge and there's a reason. You guys know that I'm always asking God to show me different ways to do stamp sets and things like that. And one of the things he showed me this year was how much I love to do my sermon notes. Like I like to take sermon notes because I like to have them to reference later. And I tend to do that all the time without fail. I'll have my notebook with me and I just kind of use a, I basically use something like this, just a blank lined journal is what I use. And then I'm like, I see all these people making really cute like sermon notebooks and there's other cute sermon notebooks you can purchase and things like that. And I was like, I want to make my own. So I kind of selfishly designed this stamp set for this, okay? But then I'm like, I want to challenge you guys to do the same. Because listen, it's important that we're writing down what God is teaching us because we will forget it, okay? And so that's what this stamp set comes from. As you probably have guessed, it is called Sermon Notes. Now, I'm going to tell you something. We did a lot of wording here for this, okay? And my challenge to you this year is if you haven't in the past taken sermon notes, is to make yourself a sermon notes book and start taking the notes. I promise you, you will love being able to, even during the week, just reference what you learned on Sunday, okay? Now, you might be thinking, well, Mame, how am I going to use this in my crafts? I got to tell you something. I think this is a good idea, okay? If you are a folio maker, if you're somebody like me, me that loves to make folios and albums for different occasions, think about this. Someone gets baptized, you can use this to help in the journaling for the day. You do VBS, use this to help in the journaling. You take photos from a Christmas play, perfect way to make yourself a folio and use all of these headings. You'll see what I mean because they're pretty good headings for what we're doing. But for the challenge, for the sermon note challenge, here's what I want to show you. Let's say you don't want to make a book. You want to use a store-bought book. This is a journal. We actually carry this journal in the store. This is just a journal. I like the spiral-bound journals, but I want to show you what I did. I laid out today's sermon, the date, the topic, and the speaker. This is basically how I always lay out my sermon notes. And there was a time I didn't write the speaker, but I found it was pretty important because sometimes I want to reference who said that. It, it does matter. Then I did my worship notes. And if you notice, I did scripture references up the side. I tend to do that in my Bible also is write my scripture references as I go. But you can lay this out any way you want, which is what I love. Now, I will tell you, this is not necessarily my book. In, in next year, I want to make a book for myself and I want to lay my notes out exactly how I want them. And I'm not exactly sure how to do that yet. I'm actually thinking I more want to do a two page layout on this one. I stamped here and then I came over here and did a little bit more. But what I think would be really good is to do a two page layout where this side you do your sermon notes and then this side you do your reflections. OK, so this is the Sunday and this is through the week. Now, let me say this. If you're not a church attender and you're thinking, I don't go to sermons or things like that. If you listen to a sermon online, it's the same thing. You need to be writing down what God is telling you, because I promise you, when we record things, we remember them. And I have found when I go back through my sermon notes, it's so cool. It almost takes me back to what God was telling me in that time. And sometimes it tells me something new for today. So the reason I have shown you like this is because I'm not exactly sure how mine's going to lay out yet. I'm going to get it laid out, though. I am a person who takes notes every Sunday. Now, let me encourage you this. When you do pick your book, and we can talk more about this in, uh, in the future, but when you do pick your book, I encourage you to pick one that will fit in your Bible case. If you have a like a, um, a Bible, like a zipper pouch that you keep your Bible in, Find one that'll fit in there and put a pen in there. And then every time you're listening to a message, you'll have your notes with you. Okay. And what I think is really cool is let's say that today, say, say you're going to do a two page layout. So you go ahead and get it set up for the first Sunday. Okay. Then next week, you spend the time reflecting over here on what you saw here. And then you, at the end of the week, go ahead and stamp the next page for whatever you want for the next week. I think if you do it that way, you'll find that your layout will change until you get it exactly like you want it. And then you can just run through and stamp all the pages. But I wouldn't stamp all the pages at one time. I would kind of see how I like to take my notes. Now, I promise you, this is this is something that we all need to be doing. And I just feel strongly about it. I feel like this is something that God's leading me to is to make sure I'm doing my sermon notes every week. 
um, and sometimes twice a week because you can use this for Bible study as well. Now, Sylvia laid out for us some sample pages. These can be found on the product page. So if you go to the page on our website for this product, you can see these samples that she laid out. Now, for me personally, I think this is a pretty personal thing. I think you're going to have to figure this out on your own how you want to lay it out. But these will give you some ideas to get started. And I think it's really cool. OK, now some of the some of the sayings, like I said, can be used for like albums for journaling and things like that. And there's no telling where you'll learn that you can mix these words in because at the end of the day, they are words. But for now, they're topics. OK, so we've got like songs with an S and then you've got song down here. I think this is cool because I feel like music is just as part as much of the worship as the sermon is. So I like the idea of being able to remember the songs. How many times have you sat down and gone, what was that song we sang last Sunday? What a cool way to do it, right? And then you've got notes, topic, scripture references, sermon notes, today's sermon, application, date, encouraging reminders, my worship notes, questions I have, things to remember, remember this, what God showed me, title, lesson learned, speaker, more references, encouraged by, reflections, further study, things to pray about, and then we talked about song. Then some little icons for you. And if you want to set up a header in any way, we did these for you too. Now, before you go, I don't know about this. I don't know if this stamp set's for me. Listen to me. I want you to pray about it. I'm encur I want you to be encouraged that this is important thing we do is keeping what God tells us. Remember, and this is going to, you're going to think I'm just saying this, but think about this. How did we get God's word in the first place? Because people wrote it down. And I feel like we need to be writing down what God is telling us and keeping up with our notes. Um, and I challenge you to just, just say, I'm going to do this for six months and see how it goes or for three months and see how it goes. I think you'll really enjoy this. I know that I'm excited about it. So until you decide what your book is going to be, start with a journal you already have. Start with something like this. If you're going to make one, because for me in 2023, I want to make more books. I've kind of fallen in love with bookmaking. I don't know if that's a, just a thing right now, but I'm kind of loving it. So you're going to see more of that as we get started. But this is the time we needed this. We needed this in December to get us started for next year. So this is your set. And don't forget, start thinking of ways you could use this in other like in your folios and things, like somebody gets baptized, remember this, right? Um, maybe what God showed me through that, that service that you attend, or there's so many different ways. Think about different ways. All right, you guys, here's the deal. When you set your book up, I would like to see it. I think it would help me design mine as well. So you can start setting your book up and then take a picture of it and share it with me on my customer gallery at maymaymadeit.com. Or you can share it on our Facebook group, which is called May May Made It and So Did I. And if you um, load to the customer gallery, that's your entry to win a $50 gift card. We give away a $50 gift card every month. And you'll want to check the description of this video to see if you won last month. All right, you guys, it's Christmas. Uh, it is like two days before Christmas. My family from Texas is here. We're very excited to get started. Um, I cannot wait um, for you to experience Christmas with your family and friends. And uh, we'll be praying for you guys and hope you enjoy a wonderful season. Just remember... It's all about Jesus, right? Keep that, the meaning of the season close to heart. Um, and I know that you will. And I know you'll enjoy this time reflecting on Jesus. Thank y'all so much for being part of our club. And until next time, bye now.